Hello everybody, what's going on? Robert French coming back at you once again. I know, already, right? Well, I'm coming to you today from the shops at Willow Lawn where I'm getting ready to head out. I just picked up the latest issue of Spawn, Spawn 298 from Alpha Comics here in Willow Lawn in Richmond, Virginia. Um, it's really important, and I'm just gonna throw this out here real quick. Uh, it's really important to me um, as, as we're getting closer to the road to 300 for the uh, 300th issue of Spawn and then the 301 going to be groundbreaking and record setting um, but it's really important uh, coming here to Willow Lawn at the age of 39 um, getting back into Spawn and um, reconnecting with this comic I've been coming to Willow Lawn since I was about 12 years old picking up comic books uh, when I came here before, the shop was known as Nostalgia Plus. It was located on the opposite side of the shops at Willow Lawn. And it was um, a really friendly store owned by a really nice couple. They moved locations after some remodeling here in the, in the shops. And then um, a new uh, little comic company took over uh, once they decided to retire and enjoy you know, the, um, the golden years. Uh, Alpha Comics has been amazing. I've really enjoyed, um, you know, shopping there uh, pretty much, you know, almost on a, on a weekly basis uh, sometimes. And uh, it's really friendly staff, really cool people there. Uh, it's just, it, but it's just mind blowing, you know, uh, going from like 12 years old to now 39, still coming back. You know, I've been coming here, picking up issues of Spawn uh, since before it hit double digits. And now, um, you know, it's it's going into uh, 298. I don't know if we can if we got a good shot at this. Um, you know, 299, uh, 300 coming up here on the back. I love these covers. They're just beautiful. They remind me a lot of Spider-Man. Uh, some of the stuff I was first getting into, well, you know, when I got into comics, uh, some of Tom McFarlane's amazing Spider-esque uh, covers here for Spawn. Uh, but yeah, it's just it's just been a lot of fun, and it's you know it's it's um, it's really neat. Not only uh, still picking up comics and issues uh, from this character and this this creator, uh, Tom McFarlane, but like I said, also still coming back to the same shops, the same shopping center, and um, you know keeping uh, almost like a tradition alive. Uh, it's kind of where I got my roots. I I tried to ride my bicycle to the shopping center when I was like 12 or 13 years old. And you know, I lived on the south side, which you know, you know, if you're not familiar with the area, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But we are looking at like a 45 minute to an hour bike ride for somebody who is like a marathon bike rider. And here some 12 year old kid was desperate enough to go get the new issue of Spawn at that time to uh, try to you know ride his bike out there. Um, Fortunate enough, I now have a car, or you know, my wife's car that I'm in right now, actually, um, so I can just drive out here and just pick these things up. Um, but yeah, I just want to share that with everybody. Just kind of throw that out there. You know, Spawn was one of the first comics that really, uh, you know, once I got into superhero comics, really, you know, sank its hooks into me because you know I, I actually got involved in comics through horror comic books and you know Tales from the Crypt and the weird science fiction comics. So, uh, once I discovered uh, Spawn, uh, just following Todd McFarlane from his run on Spider-Man, once I got involved with Spawn and found that title, it was like pretty much everything I had been looking for. You know, you had this amazing like 90s action, kind of like military war movie-esque thing going on in the comic, as well as the superhero, flashy costumes, cool powers, but then this also really dark and horror like mystique kind of thing going on with the characters where you know they weren't necessarily good guys but they weren't really bad um introducing the uh the, the child killer uh Kincaid I believe it was or, or Kane oh gosh I can't believe I can't remember uh the name now uh Kane Kincaid maybe uh anyway uh but yeah introducing that child killer in issue five uh just like blew my freaking mind at that time um so, uh, you know, it was one of those things that just like really struck a chord with me at the exact moment that I was really looking for something like that and was like, you know, um, just, just perfect timing. 
So it's just it's just really cool to still be involved with the comic, involved with the character, and like still following it, and you know still coming here to the shopping center, uh, picking up issues. Um, you know, somewhat 27 years, 27 years later, uh, that's just an amazing feat, an amazing feat for uh, Tom McFarlane, for you know not only creating a character but helping to create a company that's helped a lot of other you know young creators and, and writers and artists and stuff out there. Um, get noticed and, and have a voice and have the ability to hold on to their characters because, because I think at the end of the day that's something that you know as much as you know Todd's done with his character I think when he walks away at the end of the day knowing that you know this character belongs to him whether it's a success or whether it's a failure at least he owns that and at least that belongs to him and that's something you know uh, I, I feel like he started and he put into effect in the 90s um, with Image Comics and it's amazing to see that it's still going Titles like Savage Dragon are still on the shelf, you know. Spawn is still on the shelf, and uh, you know it's it's like I didn't waste my childhood picking up these books. It wasn't for nothing. It's it's going somewhere. It's 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 something bigger than you know what I thought it was as a kid. So uh, kudos to Todd, and I can't wait to go home and read this new issue. Let me get out of here because, like I said, I got my wife's car, and she's probably thinking like, what the frack. Um, but anyway, thanks for listening to me ramble. Again, this is Robert French. Not necessarily a French Quarter episode, but just a little bit of me uh, rambling on about uh, Spawn and, and Image Comics and all that good stuff. But anyway, uh, look for future episodes of uh, the French Quarter with Robert French on YouTube. If you haven't seen any of the episodes, there's a few on there now. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys on the internet here soon. Take care.